What is up guys, Eternal Pain here, and in today's video we're going to be going over trading. So I'm going to be swapping out the Cutlass Black for a ship that we all have and we all know and love, the Misk Freelancer. It has a cargo capacity of 66 and it's going to assist me in showing you a few tips in today's video. And when it comes to trading in Star Citizen, you can go with the entirely new player experience and use something like the Avenger Titan. <laughs> But let's face it, you're not going to make any money with that. When it comes down to it, you don't want to start trading cargo until you're probably in a medium sized ship. And luckily right now, CIG has given us all a freelancer. So you've got a decent sized cargo bay and if you fill it up entirely with Laranite, it's going to cost you about 180,000 AUEC. Now don't let that number scare you because if you manage to get to wherever you're going to sell your cargo, you're going to make about 20 to 25,000 in profit on top of what you've invested. That being said, you do have to make it to your destination. There are risks involved in trading. Now pirates, they're not a horrible risk. They're pretty easy to get away from. Either you blow the hell out of them or you quantum away. The major risks in trading are other players who just want to make your life difficult or the occasional crash. That one's a doozy. In either case, you're going to lose the money that you have invested and you're going to lose the cargo. And most likely you're going to end up shedding a tear because you put all of that money in for no return. This is actually one of the things that I like about trading because it makes it one of the most high risk professions in the verse. And yes, you can make a lot of money, maybe not a substantial amount of money with a medium sized ship, but if you manage to trade your way up to something like, oh, I don't know, a caterpillar, then you can make anywhere from two to 500,000 AUEC from one run. But filling up a caterpillar does take a lot longer than filling up something like a freelancer. Now at the moment, I do not own a caterpillar myself. Hence the reason I'm using a freelancer for the purpose of this video, but I have rode around a couple of times with people that do have caterpillars. It takes about 30 to 45 minutes to actually fill your entire cargo bay with valuable materials so that you can make that big payday. That being said, it's still worth it when you finally do get that payout. Alright, I'm going to show you one of the simple trade routes that I run quite often and it's just over here at Ariel around Hurston. We're going to spool up our quantum drive. Look down here for HDMS Lathan. I'm going to go down there and I'm going to pick up a full load of Laranite and then I'll take it over to Loreville and sell. All right, when you exit your ship over here, you're going to look for that building right there that's got the little orange thing coming off the top of it. That's going to be where your trading terminal is located and that's where we're going to buy our Laranite. As soon as you walk through this door, you're going to come over here to this little terminal, select the buy option which should be selected by default. The ship you have, which is the Freelancer in our case, and we're gonna get as much Laranite as we can get. And it looks like we're able to fill completely and it's only gonna cost 172,000 to fill. All right, so this is the part where trading gets scary because now I have 172,000 UEC invested in this load and if I lose it or the server crashes or my game crashes at all, I am out that money with no way to get it back other than trying to trade again or doing missions to try and make it back. This is the exciting part to me because I never know if I'm actually going to make it to my cell location. All right, engines are on, landing gears up. I'm gonna take it up to about 3000 meters and then I'm gonna go into my skyline and set a course for Lorval. That's one thing I should note about the Freelancer. It is kind of wobbly and hard to control sometimes. Off to Hurston. All right, now normally by now I would already have my comms panel pulled up. That way I'm ready to go as soon as the option pops up. But as soon as we establish a comm link and you see the spines pop up, we're safe. Even if the server was the 30k at that point, I would be able to respawn in Lorval and go ahead and sell my cargo. But then I would have to claim my ship. 
And there we go. There's the landing spines. Now that those have popped up, I am safe from losing my money. So even if we 30K right now, we'll still be able to make a profit off of this load. At least in past experiences, that's the way it's been. I could be wrong. So take everything I say in this video with a grain of salt. I'm just going on previous experiences and I'm not going to tell you 100% that I'm right. Whew. I'm going to tell you what, this freelancer is a lot harder to pilot than my Cutlass Black. Typically that's what I use for trading though, is my Cutlass Black. It's, uh, it's a lot easier to control because of the mouse sensitivity that I use. Alright, what hangar you got me parking in here? All right, now if you see that the doors are closed when you go into land, you just need to call the landing services one more time and they'll open those doors right up. I'm a horrible pilot. <laughs> yes, this, this was a, a great landing. All right, now I'm gonna exit through the cargo bay. And as you can see, I've got crates everywhere back here. Right, we're gonna make our way to the central business district and we're gonna sell this cargo. I did a horrible job at landing that thing. <laughs> uh, you can probably tell I don't fly it that much. Now the train ride from Tisa Spaceport to central business district is kind of a long train ride. Honestly, a lot of the time I like to take my trades to Port Olazar, but for right now, there's been some people around there causing some problems and I would rather not lose almost 200k. Alright, so I experienced a bug where I was walking sideways when I got off the train and I couldn't navigate anywhere, so I ended up having to kill myself and spawn here at the apartments on Lorville. So now I'm going to try and make my way back to the central business district. Plus side of this is the train ride is shorter. The downside is I have to ride another train. To be honest with you, the best thing that you can do is once you land at Lorable while you're trading is just kill yourself as soon as you get out of your ship. And then you'll spawn right here at the apartments and it's a much shorter train ride to get to the central business district. It just takes a second to get to the metro station. And I thought this would just be a simple run. All right, so once you arrive here at the central business district, you're gonna see these gold statues. And if you don't know where the trade terminals are here, you're just gonna go up the stairs, and then you're gonna take a left and go over here to transfers. And once you come through that door, you can either go left or right because it all ends at the same spot. And there's trading terminals on both sides of this balcony. All right, so before I actually hit the button, I'm gonna recap. We ended up buying all of that Laronite for 172,000 UEC. So now when we sell it, we're gonna get 204,000 UEC. So we made about 30,000 UEC off of that one haul. And with no problems, that run usually takes about 10 minutes, but I did encounter a bug, so I had to kill myself. So basically I had to take two train rides and it took me about 15 minutes. All right, so that is just a simple trading route and I hope that helps you out just a little bit. That's gonna give you your first run. It's easy, it doesn't take very much time at all, but I would advise you go to a site like what I'm getting ready to put on screen right now. This site doesn't have the most accurate information, but it will tell you where you can get certain commodities and help you find places for your future trading routes. I have four or five different spots I like to hit on a regular basis when I'm actually trading, and I showed you one of them. That one spot is actually kind of a popular spot though. The other spots I hit, usually there's not a whole lot of people there. I will suggest not to do the same one over and over and over because when you keep doing that, 
you run a risk of not being able to fill your cargo bay every single time that you visit that spot. So I would advise you bounce around from place to place. I would give you my spots that I normally go to, but they're mine and I'm greedy and I don't like people cluttering up my space. That being said, if you experiment a little bit and take a scouting ship out, Slice Like Galog can help you find your own special places to go to. I would advise if you notice that a lot of people have been visiting one place, stay away from there. Above all else, you want to try and stay away from other players as much as possible when you're trading because they can really ruin your day. Yet again, I'm not saying they're all bad apples, but there's a lot of them out there. All right, so that's just a quick and simple look at cargo trading in Star Citizen. This can be a very lucrative profession, and in my honest opinion, I think it's one of the most thrilling professions in the game. Even though it's not filled with combat and you're basically just flying from point to point, you have a lot of money on the line every time you're going from place to place. So all that being said, trade at your own risk, guys. Yet again, we've reached that point of the video where if you have found this video entertaining or you have found it informative in any way, don't forget to slap that like button down below. Leave a comment on the video and let me know how I did. Subscribe and above all else, make sure you guys have a wonderful day. I will see you guys next time in the verse. Uh, what just happened? That guy pushed me. Kill him. Dude, you're in my shot. I'm gonna need you to move. Hey, jackass. I said move. <sighs> now that that guy's been dealt with, uh... They might have a stain to clean up down there. Oh well.